number 16, we have some fractions, but don't let that scare you. It's just a different way of thinking about these linear expressions. We still have some coefficients, 3 and a half, negative 1 fourth, and negative 1 and 3 fourths, and 4. Those are all like terms, so we just work with the coefficients. And you could change those to decimals, you could change them to improper fractions, however you want to do that. I did mine off to the side, changing the three and a half and the four to decimals, getting a total of 7.5. And then negative one fourth plus negative one and three fourths is negative two. So 7.5 minus two is 5.5. Of course, you could also write that as five and one half. And then we have to deal with the constant. So negative two thirds, one and one half, and five six. And there, um, I went ahead and found a common denominator of six. And I showed my work over here. When I combined them all, I got 10 6, which is the same thing as 1 and 4 6, or 1 and 2 thirds. So 1 and 2 thirds. And I could write that 5.5 plus 1 and 2 thirds, or 5 and a half plus 1 and 2 thirds. You go ahead and check my answers on that one. And that is correct. So again, don't let the fractions confuse you or throw you off. You have strategies to work with those types of problems. Last problem, number 307, number 19, the higher order thinking problem. It says, what linear expression would you add to negative 4y plus 2 to just be left with y? Well, if you just want to be left with y, you'd have to get rid of the positive 2 by having an expression with a negative 2. So that would get rid of that. So what could we add to negative 4 to get to a positive 1? We'd have to have a positive 5y. So 5y take away 4y is 1y, and then plus 2 minus 2 equals 0. So what linear expression? You'd have to add 5y minus 2. For Lesson 7-3, you have the self-check online. You have the homework practice to 2 through 20 evens. Make sure you do those problems and then correct it and put your score at the top. And then you also have a problem-solving practice worksheet that you will turn in for a grade.